Hi everyone, Jeanette Biro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from Spirit. All right, so this week I went to go grab my other deck and Spirit was like, can you please use this deck? And it was this one. So the Rebecca Campbell Work Your Light Oracle deck. And the fun thing about having different kinds of decks is Spirit will kind of direct you to the right ones that are going to have the right messages, more you know specificity in the messages that you need. So apparently we need this deck today. So I'm gonna honor that and let's see what's in store here. All right. Cycles of completion is what they're telling me. Cycles of completion for many of you, again, it's a general reading. So take the pieces that resonate, drop the ones that don't. You are your own best um, gauge for what resonates. So follow that. But for many, there are different cycles that are completing right now. December is a big cycle completion month right now. So consider in your life what is completing. And let's see how that relates to the cards. Here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I really like this. I really, really like this. Okay. Cycles that are completing right now are, first of all, connected to releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives with this unbound card. This makes a lot of sense. So for many of us, there are patterns of uh, rebirth happening, renewal, new journeys, new chapters. That's how they're showing it to me in my mind right now. They're kind of flipping pages in the book to a brand new chapter where you see the chapter heading and the chapter number. Some of you might be on life journey chapter three. Some of you might be on life journey chapter 39 or 72. Whatever it is, you are in a new chapter. You're starting a new chapter. So this is beautiful to see when we're given the insight of completions and then find this card. This gets me really excited because what this means is again, with all of the work that you guys have been doing throughout the fall, throughout this like uphill climb that we were talking about in the dark forest, like we were talking about, you are finding your light. You are releasing the things that don't apply so you can make space for new. So lots of completions coming up um, in this month right now. Now, the other thing that's coming up is many of you are stepping into this Pleiades card. Now, this says double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So for many of you, you're coming into like a working awareness of your connection to spirit, but also your purpose on this planet. So as you're releasing these outdated patterns, programs, relationships, karmas, uh, past life issues, you're coming more into the truth of who you are and your purpose on this planet. For some of you, that might be a deeply spiritual way of being. For others, it might be what you do and provide in your community. Some of you may um, you know, be a big advocate for the food bank. Some of you may be really helping to create garden programs for children in schools, right? Like not everything always has to be a spiritual way but we can live spiritual lives when we're in tune with ourselves and the things that we offer in a 3D way. So this is what this really talks about. This double mission is not only are you connecting into your higher self, into your guides, becoming more aware of your sovereignty, of your consciousness as a being embodied right now, but then you're also taking that knowledge and that awareness and doing something, creating something being something, knowing that your ripple on this planet at this time makes a big difference. So again, this is why I'm so excited when I see these two cards come out after Spirit says, we're talking about completions. Things coming full circle, essentially to give you more freedom. And that really, that really follows with the cards that we had last week, which was about freedom. So there's a lot of really neat themes. And so I do wanna say too, when you're watching these card pulls, Sometimes it may be specific to you a few days after the poll, just because it's being released today. If you find it a couple days from now, it is meant to be yours then. If you hear the message and you're like, I don't know, maybe a few days later it falls into place, right? So 
something to consider. Now the last card is this card here. So this card says no. But what I want to really emphasize on here is it says wait, postpone, pause, or say no. What I want to really emphasize is the pause. Like if we were using the Avalon deck right now, the Awakening Avalon deck, this would be the card that says practice the pause. If you practice the pause and you sit in that energy, you'll be able to see more clearly what it is you're wrapping up, um, what is coming to completion, and where your double mission is, where your desire is to create something new, be something new, that kind of thing on the planet here. You won't find it by rushing through it. It takes time to kind of go inward and pause and reflect. So what's interesting is these steps are the steps to the Hatshepsut temple in Egypt. And I've been there many times and I actually, <laughs> I lunge up the steps because it's hard and it's long, but it's almost like this pilgrimage thing of like endurance and will to be just in the moment of lunging. And that's why I feel like this is like um, an energy of pausing, of being simply in the moment where you can focus your attention in, reflect on what's going on, maybe do some lunges while you're doing it. Uh, but in that pause, in that reflection, you will have more clarity, right? The lightning will come down and light everything up and you'll have clarity as to where you're going, what you're doing, and your why. So I love this. This has me so excited. I hope you feel that. And um, I just, hold on, there's one more thing they wanna say. Contemplation is key, which we just talked about, they're saying. But they're also saying, don't try so hard in your contemplation, just allow space for contemplation allow space for it. So maybe your contemplation is while you're baking. Maybe it's while you're doing dishes, cutting the lawn, um, blow drying your hair. Anytime where you're kind of doing a monotonous, busy left brain task, it allows ourselves time for contemplation. So something to consider. I love that they added that. So I'll leave that with you guys for today. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.